Welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the slider from Redeem Creations. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna give you guys a nice close up of the slider from Redeem Creations. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. The slider features two card slots on one side of the wallet, a quick access slider pocket on the other side of the wallet, and right dead center, there's a cash compartment where it accepts cash folded in half. And those pockets can hold up to nine cards based on the thickness of your cards. It's made from full grain Horween Dublin and available in five different color styles for the leather and multiple color choices for the thread. The colors that I have here are English tan and green with royal blue stitching. And the slider is handmade right here in the USA. All right, let's talk dimensions. The slider comes in at three and three sixteenths by four and three sixteenths inches and I measured it with the wallet in the vertical orientation. So you guys know I love Horween Dublin. Actually, I don't know many people who don't love this leather. So of course, the quality of leather here is fantastic. And actually, on this slider pocket here, I have some of the tannery stamp. So you can see that right there on the inside. And then if I get it into the light, you can see some of that stamp come through to the front. I think this is fantastic. And I'll try to get in real close so you can see the grain and the texture of this Horween Dublin. And while we're here, let's do a smell test. Oh my God, this smells absolutely phenomenal. I own a bunch of wallets from Redeem Creations at this point and the quality never disappoints. All the cuts look very clean and you can see that right here on this oversized thumb cutout on the quick access card pocket. And very nice work on the burnishing here, guys. You can see that nice polished look all the way around the wallet. And I'll give you a close up of those cuts too on that side and then right here on these pockets. Everything looks great. And typically with Redeem Creations, the only branding you're gonna see is that little logo stamp right there in the corner. So regarding the quality here, I think it's fantastic. Now let's move on to the styling of the slider here. And that's where I think this wallet really shines. And I don't think I have another wallet quite like this where it has a vertical style quick access card pocket on one side of the wallet you flip it and then there's two horizontal card pockets on the other side. And then right dead center, there's a dedicated cash compartment where it accepts cash folded in half. So I think this wallet has something for everybody, but does it make sense for everybody? If you guys have been watching my channel for any amount of time, you're gonna know that I am not the biggest fan of horizontal card pockets. I just don't like the functionality of stacked horizontal card pockets versus a vertical card pocket if this was stacked. It's just so much easier and functional to get your cards out. But that's the beauty of this wallet because usually when you have horizontal card pockets, that's all there is are horizontal card pockets. So for me, I've just been using these as card storage and I've been putting my most used credit card right here in the quick access card pocket, which is vertical. So these horizontal card pockets don't bug me at all on this wallet. But if you're somebody that doesn't mind horizontal card pockets and actually like them, now you have yourself one, two, three spots for your most used cards. And I'll get into that when I do the card test very shortly. And Redeem Creation states that this can hold between six to nine cards based on the thickness, or even more if you allow this leather to stretch out. And that's just the nature of leather. You start stuffing some cards in there, eventually the wallet's gonna stretch out. And now let's take a look at this very spacious cash compartment right dead center of the wallet. Now, you guys might be thinking, Chris, you also don't like cash compartments that's dead center of two card pockets. And you are correct, but Redeem Creations sort of alleviated that by giving us so much room right here. The two card pockets on the outside, even fully loaded with cards, that just doesn't come into play when I'm trying to get my cash out of the center. You can see this opens up plenty, so there is a ton of room in there. So there's a few design choices here that usually I wouldn't be a fan of, but together it somehow works. Now it's time for the cash and card test. So I already stuffed seven flat credit cards into the slider here. Now this is exactly how many credit cards I've been carrying in this wallet. I had three cards in this rear horizontal card pocket, two in this front horizontal card pocket, and then two in this quick access vertical card pocket. And of course I had my debit card right here on the front and this oversized thumb cutout is fantastic. You won't have any issues with the functionality 
with this vertical card pocket, this slider pocket, it is great. But if you wanna use this as an ID window, you can do that too, just because of the size of this cutout. And for my needs, I've been putting my ID back here and my debit card right there in the front. And then my store cards, my tracker cards all go in this area right here. But if you still wanted to use these horizontal card pockets right here for credit cards that you would use every day, whatever that may be, you can still do that just because they're right here on the top. And the functionality here is still pretty good, even though they're horizontal card pockets that are stacked on each other, usually not a fan. But you can see there is a nice little cutout right here just to give you some more surface room to slide it out with your thumb. I think you're not gonna have any problems at all here. But that's only seven. Let's try to get the total of nine cards in this wallet. I would put one more right there in the horizontal card pocket, and then maybe one more here in the slider pocket. You can see nine cards, that's not gonna be an issue at all. So I'm gonna leave this fully loaded with nine cards to do the cash test. I have five American dollar bills right here folded in half, and it is a little bit tough to get those bills in there with a fully loaded wallet, but there you go. You can see that it does fit pretty nicely in there, even with nine credit cards. But obviously, if you carry less cards, the easier it's gonna be to slide this cash dead center here. I just took out those extra two cards for a total of seven, because that's how I've been carrying it, and getting those five bills in there is so much easier. Or if you're not a cash carrier, you can use this center pocket for more credit cards, obviously, so those will fit in there, no problem. So you guys get the idea, even for a minimalist leather wallet, there is a ton of storage and it's highly, highly functional. So let's get to my final thoughts here on the slider. So you have a wallet here with two horizontal card pockets and a center pocket for cash. You think I wouldn't like this, but I actually really, really like this wallet because combined all these elements seem to work together very nicely. I'm not forced to use these pockets on a daily basis as you would see in a traditional wallet with horizontal card pockets. I can use those as storage and still use my vertical quick access card pocket with this awesome oversized thumb cutout that can also dub as an ID window. And as you saw, that center pocket isn't too tight even with seven cards in there just because of how much space they gave us. So combining all the different pocket options here seems to come together pretty nicely. Plus it's a pretty unique design here. Like I said, I checked my collection and I don't have another wallet that has a horizontal, vertical, and center cash compartment such as the slider here. So in that regard, I think that's worth a pickup within itself. But then you couple in the high quality, the very nice craft and it's priced at 68 bucks. A lot of you guys might think that's very expensive for a wallet, but when you're talking about a hand-stitched, handmade wallet from Horween Dublin, made right here in the USA, I think that 68 bucks is a good deal. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the slider from Redeem Creations? Now, if you wanna check this out for yourself, I will have links down below in my description box, but if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!